this, Mama. Uh oh. I don't like it when she's this happy in the morning. <laughs> Mama, I already know my address and phone number. Well, baby, that's not what this is. This, my children, is a list of your chores. Chores? What's going on, Mama? Well, I woke up this morning and I got to talk to myself and I said, Sal, you've been working hard. So it's Saturday. Why don't you take the day off? I got four children who would be more than happy to take on the love. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell them yet? Ooh, you must have, because there's some hanging faces up in here. <laughs> who cares? They'll get over it. Okay, well, let me tell you what I got planned for us today. First stop, pedicures at Renee. Ooh, Renee's. My toes are smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> Second, lunch at Mickey's Heavenly Barbecue. Mickey's? Girl, I haven't been there in years. Children, you haven't tasted barbecue until you tasted Mickey's. It's almost as good as your mama's, but you won't be getting either, because y'all got wake today. <laughs> now, what's next? Shopping and a movie? Oh, that sounds great. But I got to be home in time for James's basketball game. Oh, uh, Mama, that's OK. You don't have to. We're playing a team from Kitty's Bakery. <laughs> They're cream puffs, get it? <laughs> yeah, we're talking serious blow out here, mama. Especially with my power forward here. He's my teeny weeny scoring machine. <laughs> That's right, Jarvis says if I was a little older and a lot taller, I'd have my own shoe. <laughs> well, I'm sure you would, precious lamb. Now, you kick some butt on that court today, and coach, you better play him a lot. Now, I'm free at last, free at last, but y'all ain't, cause y'all got work to do. So get busy. <laughs> oh, yeah. See ya. <laughs> I've been working hard, two jobs every day. Giving time to my children, showing them the way. With God on my side, keeping me in line. I don't worry about a thing, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Chicken special. Now go easy on the napkins. This ain't McDonald's. Mm. Where's Mickey? Taking the day off? He's taking them all off. He's dead. Oh, that's awful. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, one day he was feeling fine. The next day he was face down in a pile of barbecue sauce. Big mess. That sounds terrible. It was, but I eventually got it cleaned up. So you the new owner now? That's me. Yep. I bought the place, kept everything the same. Business fell off. I don't know why. I do. Did you bake this sauce? From scratch. Does that mean that you scratched yourself before you started it? <laughs> you insulted my cooking? If it sounds like a compliment, I didn't say it right. For your information, I was the head cook aboard the nuclear submarine USS Dauntless. And hundreds of men ate my food. What were they gonna do, order out? <laughs> Look, lady. Then let's just go somewhere else. Yeah, fine with me. Go anywhere you want. That'll be 11.40. What? I don't pay for what I don't eat. Hey, if I brought it, you bought it. No cash for the trash. <laughs> He's right, Roy. This food should be rated G for, golly, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, well, then why do you eat here every day? Well, because I'm cheap and I've got dysfunctional taste buds. <laughs> Look, lady, you don't like it? Eat your own cooking. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Wait a minute, where are you going? Nobody cooks in that kitchen except me. Oh, you got it wrong, baby. Nobody cooks in that kitchen, including you. <laughs> now move your there until I make you eat this stuff. <laughs> I thought you'd see it my way. Excuse me, ma'am, could you do just a little something with this, too? I sure can, cowboy. Civilians. I guess you gotta like what you eat. Yeah, and it's obvious you can't help them with that now, isn't it? <laughs> and a woman saw that the people were woeful and hungry. 
You tell it, girl. <laughs> and she laid her hands on the stove. And she said, let there be barbecue. <laughs> and there was barbecue. Oh, and it was good. <laughs> oh, can we get an amen for the barbecue? Amen. amen. You don't get an amen for the chef. Amen. <laughs> hey, you want to cook, cook. You want to pray the church is... Where the heck is that church? <laughs> like you would know. Roy, can I get some more sauce here, please? More sauce? Be a dollar extra. Since when do I pay extra for sauce? Since it started tasting good. <laughs> He's just kidding. Text don't mind him. You know, I was looking at you across the room and I said to myself, Self, that man can't handle that little bitty dab of salt. You're a too little man. Ooh, there you go, Dad. Fill it to the brim. <laughs> Is there anybody else? I want to see some stains on those shirts. Hey, 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 wait, wait. I'm not in business to give away free sauce. You know, Roy, if you go look in that cash register, you might see something you haven't seen in a while. Money. And let's remember, the paper's worth more than the coin. <laughs> now, does your wife cook like this for you at home? If she did, I wouldn't be here. Girl, the thigh master can only do so much. <laughs> Thea, I gotta tell you, you are one heck of a woman. I know, baby, but I also noticed that ring on your finger, so you keep those bedroom eyes on that barbecue. <laughs> well, you got a good thing here. You better not let her get away. You mean hire a cook? Well, you ain't got one now. <laughs> then if we go make that movie, we better go right now. You're right, Lynette. Don't let her go. She can turn this place around for you. Uh, uh, say, lady, uh... You wanna work here? Well, Roy, it's warm and tingly that offer sounds. No, because I already got a job. Uh, haven't you ever heard of a career change? Not, not that I'm begging. No, we're begging. <laughs> hey, this is a private conversation. Just shut up and eat your free sauce. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roy. I got a movie to catch. But let me give you a little advice in the cooking department. Okay, why? <laughs> Stay out of the kitchen. See you. Hi, <laughs> 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 hey, you lost to the cream puffs? Yeah, and it was all my fault. Oh, no, it wasn't. Look, we were one point ahead in the game. James tried to take a shot, and it got blocked. Yeah, blocked off the top of my head. Then <laughs> <laughs> bounced away to the other end of the court where they picked it up and scored. <laughs> That's what I call heads up ball. <laughs> I told him it could happen to anybody here. Well, did it ever happen to you, Jerome? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, yeah, numerous times. It happened to Jarvis, too, right? No, actually, it never has. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, bro. Hi, James, how's the game? I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> well, then, hey, what's wrong with him? I believe just a headache. <laughs> well, your mama's back from the best day off she's had in a long time. Well, how was your pedicure in the movie? Ooh, child, my dogs are happy and the movie was great. How was your lunch at Mickey Barbecue? Terrible. Mickey died. Ooh, hey, that can ruin the lunch. Oh, he died months ago. <laughs> it wasn't worse. But the new cook is an even bigger disaster, which gave me a chance to do something I always wanted to do, cook in a restaurant, because you know your mama can burn some barbecue. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but what'd they pay you? Nothing. <laughs> you worked all day in a restaurant and you didn't even get paid? Now, one red said, you know what? It's even better they offered me the job. Shoot, I don't blame them. At those wages, I would, too. <laughs> Mama, are you thinking of taking this job? Well, to be honest with you, I'd love to, but I'd hate to have to quit my job at Bagley's and give up that security. Well, there's a lot to be said for security. It's also a lot to be said for doing something that you love while you still can. I don't want people looking at me one day going, you see that woman over there? That's Thea Terrell, the oldest checker in the world. <laughs> but she's secure. Well, um, here we are at uh, Bagley Supermarket with a lady who just received her gold pen for working 50 years behind the counter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Thea Terrell. Come on, sit up, sit up. All right. Let me ask you something. To what do you owe? <laughs> Your longevity in this profession? Well, to always play it safe and to never take a risk. Did you uh, ever think about doing something else? Well, only once, but it was such a long time ago. You know, baby, I don't even remember. 
Well, what would you like to say to uh, America out there? Paper or plastic? <laughs> Hey, Thea, darling, you're the answer to my prayer. Unless, of course, you're just here for lunch. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> well, how you doing, Roy? What you stirring up? Some of that yummy submarine sauce? Well, well, look who's here. The Galloping Gourmet. Come back here to insult me? Had to. This is where you are. <laughs> no, I just came to see if you're really serious about that job offer. You gonna hire her? You're gonna keep on poisoning us. <laughs> hey, do you mind excusing us? We're negotiating. So, uh, well, what are you asking? This is what I get at the supermarket. Boy, salary, pension, benefits. It's a good job, I'd hang on to it. <laughs> well, that was quick. I might as well have myself some lunch. You know a decent place to eat around here? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying I can't use you. It's just, well, I can't match that package. Best I can do is, well, maybe about two-thirds of your salary, but you can forget about the pension. How about benefits? I'll supply the aprons. <laughs> Look, I might be able to deal with all of this if you throw in a piece of the action. Piece of the action? <laughs> forget it. Look, baby, your wagons are in a circle, and I'm the cavalry. I pay for this place, and there is absolutely no way I'm sharing a dime of the profits. Hey, 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 listen. Cooper and I were just talking, and uh, we're going to have a retirement party for a buddy on Sunday. If Thea cuts, we'll have it here. Five percent. Fifty. Ten. Forty. Twelve. Thirty-nine. Look, Roy, without me, you're on the brink of bankruptcy. With me, dream if you will. <laughs> Private parties. Weddings, barbecue bar mitzvah. Think about it. 25. Done. All right. Now, that's 25 for you, 75 for me, which is the control and interest. I'm the boss. <laughs> hey, Walt, I'm on the job. All hey. right. Party at the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you may be the boss, but I'm the star. <laughs> Look, that's the last piece of pie. You could share it. Denisha, if I cut this pie in half, that wouldn't be enough to satisfy either of us. Why should we both suffer? <laughs> you are a selfish dog. Sticks and stones, baby, but I still got the pie. <laughs> Jerome, have you seen uh, James's basketball uniform? Yeah, man, I saw you putting it in that bag about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I know. Now it's gone. Well, I guess I can't play today, huh? <laughs> Get up. I can't. I'm resting. <laughs> How'd that get there? <laughs> well, children, you're on your own. I'm off to work on that retirement party at the restaurant. My restaurant. I love the way that fell out of my mouth. <laughs> Not too bad you're gonna miss the game, Mom. Huh? The gym's only a few blocks away. I'll be there. Don't worry about me, Mama. You stay at work. You've got a business to run. Listen to my wise old man. You better slam dunk one for your mom at that game today. And coach, you better play him. Hey, he's the franchise. <laughs> you go, boy. <laughs> man, how you gonna play a franchise who has his uniform under a pillow? Well, look, I want to play, but I can't. Why not? I told him I actually tease tendon. <laughs> Your Achilles tendon, huh? Well, then this must be killing you. Ah, don't touch it! <laughs> James, it's your Achilles tendon, and it's in your ankle. Listen up, man. Take it from a pro. If you're gonna lie, you got to do the research. You gonna be there for me? Okay. All right, give it up. Oh, I think I hurt my shooting hand. <laughs> Hey, Thea, I want you to meet our guest of honor, Marvin Foster. Mm. 45 years behind the wheel, never had an accident. He just had his first one. There's a little bean dip on his shoes. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Walt tells me that you make up the tenderest barbecue that he ever tasted. Well, he ain't lying. You hear that, Marvin? That's the sound of the meat falling off the bone. <laughs> Roy! Roy! What are you doing? I'm rotating the tires on my car. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> Stove's dead. I told you we needed a new stove. Well, I blew all the money for a new stove. On what? The new cook. <laughs> Roy, I got a party full of hungry chuckles out there. Now, the ribs and the chicken are almost ready. They're nothing without that sauce of the greens and the special candy games. Now, what are we going to do? All right. I'll try to fix the stove. Why don't you get out of here and go dazzling with that earthy charm of yours? <laughs> hey, what's holding up the barbecue? Well, Walt, barbecue is like love. You can have it good or you can have it fast. <laughs> we want it now. <laughs> I forgot I was talking to men. <laughs> Okay, you just take your time. Now, see, there is a voice of experience. And judging by the twinkle in your eye, Marvin, I bet you were a real heartbreaker, too. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> now, let's not forget why we're here to pay tribute to our good old friend Marvin Foster, legend, lover, lord of the open highway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He can touch his nose with his tongue, too. <laughs> I can see you crisscrossing the country, making sure all of America's homes are supplied with... What was it you used to haul, Marvin? <clears throat> Toxic waste. <laughs> what are you telling me, Marvin? When we turn off the lights, you glow in the dark. <laughs> We're here to say goodbye to a man before he drives off into the sunset. So y'all come on up here and tell this man how much you're gonna miss him. Miss him? My father-in-law is moving in with me. <laughs> Bet you're making him pay rent, too. Well, not a lot. <laughs> well, that's all right, Marvin. You can move in with me. I like it. <laughs> now, y'all come on here and light up and tell this man how much you love him. Come on, now. Tell him how much you love and miss him. Go on. Marvin, I love you. <laughs> Tia, is there a problem in the kitchen? Whatever do you mean. That stove is cooking up a storm. <laughs> Mind me, party on. <laughs> and, then, and then there is a time I was hauling nerve gas canisters from Amarillo to Cheyenne. I went 72 hours without sleep. Oh, I once went 72 hours without sleep. It was on my honeymoon. <laughs> If I was only 20 years younger. Well, if you were 20 years younger, I'd still be too much for you. <laughs> Marvin, as much as I have thrilled every minute of your trip down memory lane, it's time to pull it to a curb. <coughs> the stove is fixed. All yeah. right. Well, so you guys get your bibs on, because that barbecue is a coming. <laughs> this ain't too bad. Now, how long do you think we can go with this thing? If you're lucky, today. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stove shot, it could go at any minute. Right. And uh, how much you gonna nail me to replace it? Well, I, I could get you a reconditioned one for about uh, sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred dollars? I don't have that kind of money. What are we gonna do? Well, let me know. Well, there's only one thing to do. What's that? You gonna try and fix it? No, I'm just gonna turn on the gas. <laughs> Matter. What y'all doing here? Look, Mama, we're sorry to bother you, but James got a tummy ache and he can't play. A tummy ache? He's dogging it. No, I'm not. It hurts real bad. Sit down, baby. Let Mama take a look at you. Now, tell Mama, where does it hurt? Well, it kind of moves around. Well, does it hurt now? No, I think it's rusty. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that boy. He messed up last game and now he's afraid to go back in. Is that true? Well, when that ball bounced off my head, everyone made fun of me, Mama. Oh, come here, boy. Now, Mama is real sorry about what happened to you at the game. But that's part of it. It's the ups and the downs. Mama, I hate the downs. But you like the ups now, don't you? Oh, yeah, those ups are fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you can't have one without the other. That's the way it is. The ups are for fun, and the downs are for you to learn from. Well, I guess I've got to learn to keep my head out of the way of the ball. There you go, baby. Let's 
go, guys. I've got to put some points on that board before it's too late. <laughs> Man, I don't believe this. He's been begging and pushing that kid to play all day. You say two words to him, and now he's back in the game. That's why I'm the mama. <laughs> you know, Roy, I've been thinking. Yeah, so have I. Look, let's face it, this isn't working out. I can't make a go of this place. Roy, listen. Look, I know you got a family to feed. I think you should try to get your old job back. Well, I could do something. I Maybe I'll take that post office exam again. You need a stove, and I need a job. You put up half, and I'll put up the other half. I, I can't ask you to do that. You're not asking me. I'm volunteering. I'm part owner of this. And if this place closes, I'm part owner of nothing. So you better take this check, boy. Well, look, lady, if you want to pay half the money, that's, that's all fine, but the only way I'm going to accept this is if you become an equal partner. So from now on, you get 49% of the profit. If my math serves me correctly... Take it or leave it. It's taken. Okay. <laughs> Attention, truck drivers. You are about to have the most mouth-watering, tantalizing, Texas treat Ooh. Mickey's Heavenly Barbecue. Oh, 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 oh. Correction, correction. Thea's Heavenly Barbecue. Oh, yeah. Here, Don, a little something special for you. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> hey, you know I get 51% of that. Only in a dream, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roy, yeah. wake up and wash them pots. What? No, no, I don't wash pots. Yes, you do. Tell her, Mr. Mitten. I, he does not wash pots. No, he does not wash anything. Yes, not he does. his own body. He does not wash anything. You're so silly. Yeah. But we're going to be rich. And I'm going to be washing pots. It's good to be the queen. Ooh.